The trial of the man accused of killing American sniper Chris Kyle has been put on hold by ICE. I'm Miranda Kahn, and this story, Topshire Newsmax Now Update. Eddie Ray Ralph has pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. Jurors were set to hear closing arguments as early as today, but bad weather in North Texas has pushed that back till tomorrow. Kyle and a friend were killed two years ago. The Secretary of Defense has pulled together top military, intelligence, and diplomatic experts to talk about ISIS. Ashton Carter has convened an unusual conference at the military base in Kuwait. That's headquarters for the fight against ISIS. Secretary Carter says he wants to learn more about the current operation to counter the terror group. New threats against malls across America and around the world is forcing stepped-up security. Al-Shabaab, a terror group based in Somalia, has put out a video calling on militants to attack malls, and it singles out the Mall of America in Minnesota. Security there has been tightened. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson says this call for people to attack targets in their own countries is a new phase. That represents a totally new environment. We have to deal with it in a new and different way that involves a whole of government approach and it involves working with state and local law enforcement, working with the community. The video also calls for attacks on malls in Britain and Jewish-owned malls as well. Ukrainian forces are pulling back from the front lines of the fight with Russian-backed rebels. But the military says the progress is being slowed by continued attacks from the rebels despite a ceasefire. The fighting in Ukraine has Senator John McCain blasting the White House for not doing more to help the people there. I'm ashamed of my country, I'm ashamed of my president, and I'm ashamed of myself that I haven't done more to help these people. And he says the Ukrainians just don't have the weapons to stand up to rebels being supplied by Russia. Three people are dead after a shooting northeast of Atlanta. Investigators say a sheriff and sheriff's deputy are also hurt after they responded to calls of a domestic disturbance and found a woman's body in the garage of a home. They made entry to the residence to see if there were other victims inside. Upon making entry, uh, it appears that they were ambushed. Both officers were shot. They're expected to survive. The man who ambushed them was killed. He's being identified as a former police officer. The body of another victim was found later. And at Daytona, nobody was faster than Joey Logano. The 24-year-old survived a frantic sprint to the finish with cars at times going around the track, three wide in the last few laps. It is his first Daytona 500 win. Congratulations.